what is a join index used for? Let me tell you. We have the employee table and the department table, and we join them thousands of times each day. So what a join index will do is it will join the rows together one time and keep a physical copy of those rows. You can't query the join index directly, but when you say, you know, I want to run a query that joins the employee table to the department table, the parsing engine sits there and says, you know, I've already got that pre-joined and ready to go, and it decides to bring the information from the join index, and it takes a lot less time. That's what a join index is. Take a look at how to build a join index. There's three types, single table join index, multi table join index, and what we're going to learn as an aggregate join index. Now, here we have a multi table join index. If you were to take off the first line that says create join index, I give it a name, M depth index as, and you were to take off the last line of the primary index's employee number, you've got what is a typical join. That's the way a join index is built. You almost build your SQL to do the join first, and then you say, create join index, you give it a name as, and then you've got your SQL there, and you'll give that a primary index at the bottom. Otherwise, it'll pick the first column and make it non-unique, and you have built the join index. Here I've got my employee table, I've got my department table, and I've got my join index. Let's take a look at the top left. It's the employee table. There are those rows. And then, of course, there's my department table on the top right. And we're joining these all the time. So we created a join index that will join those rows together. And it created this physical table itself. So often people say, well, a join index is just pointers or a logical representation. It is a physical representation. It's as if you've got an answer set and said, oh, this is the joined rows. And they go, we will now store those out on Teradata by hashing them by their primary index. And those rows are out there with an equal distribution amongst all the amps. The parsing engine decides when to get the data from the join index or from the employee table or department table. Now, why would we do this? Well, one of the things about a join index is if I add a row to the employee table or I add a row to the department table or do an update of any kind, the join index is then inserted or updated too. So you can guarantee it is always in perfect step with the tables. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Begin your Teradata journey the right way with our Teradata Basics book. Visit coughingdw.com for more information. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.